Hello grade 8 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video, uh, magso-solve tayo ng mga non-routine problems regarding parallel lines cut by a transversal. So we're in maritime given ng mga figures and then i-analyze natin for us to be able to find the unknown. So most probably, we need to find the values of X and Y. So, we need to find uh, the measurement of uh, the unknown, which is, or which are X and Y. So, for example, our given is line AB. So, ito yung ating line AB that is parallel with line CD. So, line a is, AB is parallel with line CD. So, they are parallel lines. And then, line AC is parallel with line BD. Okay? So, kapag ito yung ating uh, parallel lines, so, itong dalawa yung transversal lines. So, kapag naman yung AC at BD, ito yung parallel lines, so, ang ating transversal line ay pwedeng AB or CD. So, we're in ang given lang natin ay 82 degrees. We need to find the value of X and Y. So, let us first find the value of X. So, dito muna tayo. So, ano ang relationship ni 82 degrees kay X? So, we're in... Ito yung ating parallel lines. Tapos, etong nasa taas yung ating transversal line. So, therefore, etong 82 degrees at etong X ay alternate interior angles and according to all sa property alternate interior angles ay congruent since ito ay 82 degrees therefore the value of x must be 82 degrees okay how about y so dito naman sa y ito namang ab at etong cd ito naman yung parallel lines at ito naman yung ating transversal line which is line bd so, ano yung relationship ni angle X at ni angle Y? So, same side interior. So, according sa property, same side interior angles are supplementary. So, meaning to say, na kapag pinag-add natin si X and Y, it must be equal to 180. So, therefore, pwede tayo doon mag-equate na X plus Y equals to 180. So, since the value of X is 82, so, plus y equals to 180. So, we just subtract it. So, 180 minus 82. So, therefore, y equals to 180 minus 82. We have here 98. So, 98 degrees. So, therefore, the value of y is 98 degrees. So, for number 2, our given is segment AC. So, we have here segment AC is parallel with segment DE. So, segment DE. So, we're in, we have here transversal line. So, pwede itong BD. At pwede rin naman itong CD. Kasi itong line na to, pwede nating extend and these lines passes through our given perpendicular line. So, pwede natin siyang tawaging perpendicular uh, transversal line. So, itong BD ay transversal line ng parallel line natin na AC and DE. Same with CD, line CD. So, pwede rin siyang maging transversal. So, ngayon, we are asked to find the value of X and Y. So, by inspection, so paano natin ma-solve yung value ni X and Y? So, take note, kapag itong BD ang ginamit nating uh, transversa, uh, transversal, so we can say na itong 68 degrees at itong line na to ay, it must be equal to 68 degrees. Because they are alternate interior angles. So, paano natin masosolve si X? Okay. So, since nakaform tayo dito ng triangle at alam natin na ang interior angles of a given triangle ay merong sum na 180 degrees, so, kuhanin muna natin itong measurement itong isang angle na to. So, yung 
Itong dalawang angle na, ma na magkatabi ay nag-form ng straight angle. So, dapat ang measurement niya ay 180 degrees. So, para ma-solve natin itong angle na to, so, we need to subtract uh, 68 from 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 68, we have 112 degrees. Again, kinuha natin yung measurement yung angle na to because they are supplementary or nag-form siya ng straight angle kaya ang sum niya dapat ay 180 degrees. So, ngayon, mahalap na natin si angle X by adding etong dalawang sides na to. And then, isubtract natin by 180. So, we have here X plus 112 plus 37 dapat pag pinag-add yung tatlong angles 180 again, itong angle na to itong angle C at itong angle X pag pinag-add natin dapat ay 180 so therefore 112 plus 37 so you have here X plus 149 equals to 180. Then, x equals to 180 minus 149. So, additive inverse of positive 149 is negative 149. So, x equals subtract natin. So, you have here 31. So, therefore, the measurement of this one is 31 degrees. Again, i-review lang natin paano natin na-solve itong value ng x. Kinuha muna natin yung 112 degrees. Again, itong 68, sinubtract natin from 180 degrees kasi it forms straight angles and it should be 180 degrees. So, ngayon, meron na tayong dalawang measurement ng angles at ito ay triangle. So, kailangan kapag pinag-add natin yung tatlong angles, dapat ang sum ay 180 degrees kasi yun yung uh, sum ng interior angles ng given triangle. So, nakuha na natin yung 31 degrees. So, ngayon, paano natin makukuha yung measurement ni y? So, kailangan natin siyang kapag pinag-add yung x and y, dapat siya ay 68 degrees. So, that is x plus y ay 68 degrees. Again, paano natin nalaman na itong x and y ay 68 degrees? So, ka-alternate interior angles nitong 68 degrees. So, you have here 31 plus y equals to 68. Then, y equals to 68 minus 34. Then, y equals to 68 minus 34. So, that is 31. Again, 68 minus 31, you have here 37. So, therefore, the measurement of angle Y is 37 degrees. So, for number 3, so segment BE is parallel with segment CD. So, you have here BE is parallel with CD. So, therefore, our transversal line ay itong segment AC. So, pwede rin naman itong segment BD. Okay? So, let's find the value of X first. So, since BE and CD ay parallel lines, tapos ang ating transversal ay AC, So, itong 73 degrees at itong x ay corresponding angles. And according to the properties, corresponding angles are congruent. So, if this is 70, uh, 73 degrees, so therefore the value of x is 73 degrees. Yan. So, how about the value of y? So, kung mapapansin nyo, Itong tatlong angles na to ay it forms straight angles. So, straight angles, ang measurement ay 180 to. So, si x, which is 73 degrees, 
plus y plus 61 degrees. Again, it forms straight angles. So, paano natin siya isosolve? So, x plus y plus 61 degrees equals to 180. So, i-substitute na natin yung value ni x na nakuha natin kanina because they are corresponding angles. So, kaya nalaman natin na, si value, uh, na ang value ng x ay 73 degrees plus y plus 61 equals to 180. Then, add natin y plus so, 73 plus 61 is 134 equals to 180. And then, y equals to 180 minus 134. So, we just get the additive inverse of 134. Then, y equals, so 180 minus 134 is, we have 6, we have 46. So, therefore, the measurement of angle Y is 46 degrees. So, segment AB is parallel with segment CD. Again, segment AB is parallel with segment CD, wherein another given is that AB is perpendicular with AD. So, therefore, it forms a right angle. And we all know that a right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. So, how are we going to find the value of x and the value of y? So, take note, nakabuo tayo dito ng dalawang triangle. So, dito muna tayo. For us to be able to find the value of x, so, since nawawala yung third, uh, the measurement uh, ng last angle, ng given triangle, so, we have here 52 degrees, 90 degrees, and nawawala yung isang angle ng given triangle. At ang sum, kapag pinag-add yung tatlong angles, ay 180 degrees. So, we just add. So, when we add x and 52 degrees at 90 degrees, dapat ang sum niya ay 180 degrees. Again, when we add the three given angles at yung isa ay nawawala, at ito nga yung hahanapin natin, it must be equal to 180 degrees. So, we have here x plus 90 plus 52, we have here 142 equals to 180. Then we have here x equals to 180. Additive inverse of 142 is negative 142. So we just subtract. Then x equals to 180 minus 142. You have here 38. So, therefore, the measurement of angle X is 38 degrees. So, how about the measurement of angle Y? So, since AB and DC are parallel lines, so, therefore, itong BC ang magiging transversal. At itong dalawang angles na to ay same side interior angles. Again, itong angle na to at itong angle Y ay sa, uh, same side interior angles and according sa properties, same side interior angles are supplementary. So, therefore, paano natin makukuha yung uh, answer natin? So, i-add muna natin yung 38 and 84. So, yung kabuuan ng angle na to ay 8 plus 4 is 12, carry 1, so 11, 12, so 122 degrees. Again, inad lang natin itong si 38 at 84 bilang kabuang angle, naka-supplement itong angle Y. Again, 8 plus 4 is 12, carry 1, 11, 12, so 122 degrees. So, the equate natin, so 122 degrees plus Y, it must be equal to 180 then y equals to 180 additive inverse of positive 122 is negative so minus 122 so y equals so 180 minus 122 so you have here so 58 degrees so therefore y is 58 degrees
the value of x is 38 degrees and the value of y is 58 degrees. So that's it. So I hope that you learned something today. So you just uh, inspect the given figure, just analyze it para ma ma find yung value ni x and y. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with the others and see you on our next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.